You are welcome to my channel. Our story today is about Samson the Womanizer. Once upon a time in the vibrant city of Serendipity, there lived a man named Samson. He was known far and wide for his devilish charm and irresistible allure. With his chiseled jawline, mesmerizing eyes, and a magnetic personality Samson had, the ability to captivate the hearts of women effortlessly. He was a womanizer, and he reveled in his reputation. Samson spent his days sauntering through the city streets, leaving a trail of broken hearts in his wake. His ego was nourished by the adoration of women, each one falling for his well-crafted words and enchanting smile. But Samson was restless. He was always in search of the next conquest. The next woman to add to his collection, his escapades were legendary. No woman was immune to his charms. From elegant socialites to hard-working waitresses, Samson weaved his spell over them all. He would sweep them off their feet with candlelit dinners, romantic gestures, and passionate nights, only to disappear into the dawn without a trace. Samson's friends would often caution him about the consequences of his actions, warning him that he was playing a dangerous game. But Samson brushed off their concerns, believing himself invincible. He reveled in the power he held over women, unaware of the pain he inflicted. One fateful day, as Samson was strolling through a local park, he noticed a woman sitting alone on a bench, reading a book. Her beauty was striking, but there was something different about her. She exuded an air of independence and strength that intrigued him. Samson, as always, decided to approach her, eager to add another conquest to his list. As he neared the bench, he caught a glimpse of the book she was engrossed in. It was titled Lessons in Love. The irony struck him, and a seed of doubt started to grow within him. Nevertheless, Samson flashed his signature smile and struck up a conversation with the mysterious woman named Emily. To his surprise, Emily was not like the others. She saw through his charming facade and refused to fall for his superficial tricks. She challenged him intellectually and demanded authenticity. Samson found himself at a loss for words. Realizing that he had met his match, days turned into weeks and Samson and Emily spent more time together. He began to see the shallowness of his womanizing ways. As Emily opened his eyes to the pain he had caused, he started to feel remorse for his past actions and decided to change his ways. Samson embarked on a journey of self-discovery, seeking redemption for the hearts he had broken. He reached out to the women he had wronged, offering sincere apologies and acknowledging the pain he had caused. Some forgave him, while others remained wary. But Samson understood that he couldn't undo the past, with Emily by his side. Samson devoted himself to becoming a better man. Together, they created a foundation to support women who had been hurt by womanizers like Samson. They held seminars, workshops, and counseling sessions to empower and uplift those who had experienced heartbreak. Through his transformation, Samson learned the value of genuine connections and the importance of treating others with respect and kindness. He realized that true love and happiness were not found in conquests and empty encounters, but in building meaningful relationships based on trust and mutual understanding. And so, the womanizer named Samson shed his old skin, emerging as a changed man. The city of serendipity watched in awe as he embraced a new purpose, spreading love and compassion wherever he went. The tale of Samson, the womanizer turned advocate for love, became an inspiration to all, reminding everyone that redemption 